I've got a job on my hands, that I have, yeah. I've got this, which happens to be an Axminster ride, a number six hand plane. And as you can see, it's not pretty, no. And this is my uh, record number six hand plane. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this hand plane look a little bit more like that hand plane. Or at least we're going to make it usable. Now in the previous video, I actually restored this Stanley Bailey number five. I put a new toe on, a new knob on it. There's videos on this channel about it if you want to see them. Yeah. Well, the thing is, this hand plane is going back to the person who made it look like this. Yeah. Okay. Happens to be my son. Ugh. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it a usable tool. All right. And he ain't get it back until I've shown him how to use it. But first we need to take it all apart, all right, like I did with this one, and sort of put the bits and pieces to one side and make it look pretty. He ain't getting a new tote and he ain't getting a new knob, but I will remove the varnish off them, that I will, and oil them all up. Make it a usable tool again. So no further ado, shall we get started? Oh yeah. Well that's enough for him. It's time to disassemble the Axminster Rider number six hand plane which happens to be rather rusty. But luckily, all the bits and pieces unscrew easily. <gasps> oh, thank the Lord, or something like that. So we've got the frog out, we've got the knob off, and we're now removing the tote. Okay, there's a big long screw. Oh no, the captive screw's come off. But what about the screw? Is that gonna come out? Okay, well that one's come out. Oh, there is the tote. It's a bit nasty. It's covered in all that syrupy like varnish shit. I don't like it. No, got to get rid of that. Blimey. The rod that holds the tote is stuck. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, phew. So there you go. We now have our hand plane body. And it's rusty. So we lube all the bits and pieces. And now it's time for the linisher. Basically, it's just a bolt sander. Hence, we use the straight edge and we check it. So the hand plane body is all spick and span. I'll need a bit of fettling later, but for now, that will do. So let's flatten off the older hand plane iron and re-grind the bevel using my wooden jig. That happens to have a couple of magnets on it to hold it on. It works so well. And somebody says, doesn't it just sand the wood away? No, actually it doesn't, funny enough. So over to the wire wheel on the old Clark 6 inch bench grinder and remove the flippin' rust. Oh, oh, blimey! It makes me so angry, it really does, that someone will allow a tool to get in such a state. That happened to be my son. Oh, didn't teach him well, did I? Now, like with any hand plane, I like to remove the paint off the top edges of the sides of the hand plane. Now, the reason for that is well, that's the paint that always chips off, so why would you want it there? So I cleaned it all off and polished it up and it's a lot better. Look at that mouth, it's all wonky. It's not perpendicular with the sides, no. So that will require some fettling too, but I'll do that later. So now it's time to assemble, not disassemble, no, assemble Johnny 5, actually it's number 6. Hand plane by Axminster, one of their rider range. So now it's time to sharpen the hand plane by putting a micro bevel onto it. Insert the plane iron into the sharpening guide or the honing guide. So currently we're using an oil stone. I quite like oil stones, they're quite durable. And once I'm happy with that, what I'll do is I'll make sure the back is flat. So I rolled her over and got onto her find a sign to work on my uh, micro uh, bevel oh this particular stone is 1200 grit and 600 grit on the other side so it's coarse and fine this is basically a fresh grind that it is we all like a bit of fresh grinding don't we mm, yeah so now i'm using a 3000 grit diamond sharpener to polish the back but also so 
So as you can see, I put a steel rule down when flattening the back. I know we're going to say, well, it's not flattening the back. Well, no, of course not. But what it does is it ensures the back of the plane iron is knickers free. Yeah, there's no nicks in the back of the plane iron. And that's called the Charlesworth uh, method. It works, you know. So a little bit more honing using the 3000 grit diamond sharpener. This is only a cheap diamond sharpener. This particular one came from Timu. You know, that dodgy sight with that spinny thing on the home page. So now it's time for a bit of stropping. Now I'm not using a leather strop, but actually I am. That's me. Yes, I'm stropping using my hands, but you see. Well, if it works, it ain't wrong. And as you can see, it's bloomin' sharp, it is, yeah. You could shave your never regions with that, but don't slip, because that could be a uh, bloody. So the hand plane iron needs to get up close and personal with the chip breaker, and then we can put it back in the body that we can. Oh. So now I've cleaned up all the old screws. The lever cap, oh, no, that's not a lever cap. That's called a screw cap, because there's no lever and there is a screw. Well, later on I find that there's a bit of an issue with this hand plane in its design, and it's going to require further fettling. But that'll be another video. So it's time to install the knob. Oh, we need to remove the uh, syrup-like varnish from its knob. Well, anyway, so what I've done is i put a bolt through the knob, yeah, through the eye of the knob, <laughs> and uh, placed it in the drill. I was going to place this knob in the lathe and spin it up, but I thought, well, not everyone has a lathe, so you could use a drill if you like, just by putting a bolt right through the knob and into the drill, you see. I'm just going to sand off the old varnish. That's what we're going to do, you know. As you can see, it's coming off quite easy, but that varnish is like syrup. It is so nasty. Why do people put that shit on tools? Why can't they just whack a bit of oil on? It'd actually be easier than varnishing. That varnish is horrible. You can't see what I can see, but it was nasty. But that's a pretty bit of wood. That's quite a nice piece of wood, look, see? Some sort of tropical hardwood. I don't know what wood it is. But how much nicer does that look? Just being oiled. Unlike that syrupy, nasty, yucky, yucky, yucky varnish. Yeah. You might as well have plastic handles about that crap they put on them. Don't like it. No. The oil finish is way superior. Mm -hmm. So we're screwing down the tote. You've got to screw your tote, you know. Yeah, screwing down the tote. I'm wiping off the excess oil. And I will give it some more oiling later, but for now, I'm quite pleased with that. That's actually looking quite nice, you know. Don't get me wrong, it's not the record, no, or any of my Stanley Bailey's. But, hopefully, it's going to be a useful tool. Oh, and so it is. Look at them shavings. They look nice and curly, don't they? Can't be bad. You see? Toodaloo!